What is going on guys? It is early this morning. It's like 6.45 in the morning. I'm making a video because I found something on Craigslist that I wanna show you guys, break down with you guys, um, and really show you why I think it's a good deal, how much I think I can make off of it, or at least break even with it, even if I wanted to drive it for a little bit. It's nothing crazy expensive, but it is a very reliable car that I think this will help you guys um, whenever you go to see these. And if I really break it down correctly for you guys, then I think you'll be able to understand why this car is worth so much money. We're at the Tech Buds house. There's GTR there, M4 there, really cool cars here, but I focus on high volume cars and I wanna show you guys exactly um, what I found. So let's go inside my computer, come inside, and uh, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So check this out. So now that we are in our computer, I found a 2005, as you can see on the screen, Honda Pilot EXL. So these vehicles are known to be extremely reliable. The audience is there on a vehicle like this. I've been to many car auctions and um, these have always sold for much more than uh, competitors like the Ford Explorer and all those other mid-sized cars with, you know, uh, well, Toyota has some good ones, but Ford, uh, Chevrolet, the Trailblazer, I mean, they blow them out of the water. They're known to be reliable. Um, so knowing this, I see these typically go for around 3,800 to 4,500. I'm gonna show you guys in a second to, to prove that and really show you why I think this one stands out a little bit more than some of the others. Uh, there are some issues that I wanna point out and I wanna you know, acknowledge how it doesn't affect this as much as it would on another car that's not known to be as reliable. So it is obviously black. That is a huge pro, right? You can wax, buff, polish, as long as there, it doesn't have any crazy, crazy deep scratches. Even if it has a couple, that's okay. But black cars stand out so much whenever you really, really detail them and really work on that paint. Um, that will help you get a quicker sell. And knowing that it's already a Honda Pilot, that's gonna even bump it up that much more. So if you look at the pictures, we'll scroll over. There's one issue, which is very, very common on these when they're, they're leather interior, is that the front seats crack so much. So you can see right here, you can actually get a front seat cover and pull this off the foam. And you know, it costs 150 bucks for a leather cover and it's not that hard to do. I've actually done it on a lot of Chevrolet Silverados. Um, I can't remember on Hondas if it's uh, Velcroed in or if it has bullring clips um, on this. I can't really remember, but it's either way, it's not that hard. Um, but my main focus on this is that it is loaded out and it is black. So I can really, really detail it, really clean it up and Something really cool that I want to show you guys is that I messaged him, which I can't show you. Actually, I'll post it um, right now. I'm going to send, show you the, all the screenshots of our messages. And I've actually um, since then got him down to even $2,200. So knowing that I can get this car for $2,200 is a really, really, really good deal. And um, I think I could profit on it you know, really well. So I'm going to go into Craigslist and type this in, um, Honda Pilot. And I'm gonna do two, so I've already got it pulled up. So 2003 to 2007. So here's an 07, $6,900. This one's very nice. It's probably similar, it's leather, it's got in way better shape, um, but $6,900 with 176,000 miles. Um, and if I can get this one 2,200, then that's an absolute steal. This one I believe has many issues, like the AC basically isn't working. They say it is, but that's very common that they kind of BS it. It's actually in a very expensive repair. Um, and a lot of people say, uh, maybe it just needs a recharge, maybe it just needs Freon. Um, but there's also other things that are wrong with it. That's okay. Um, but it's also got a little more miles, I believe, or maybe the same. Yeah, so similar mileage. Um, it doesn't stand out near as much. The paint's faded on that one. Um, 07 for 6,000, 6,300 for an 07. Here's an 04 for 3,000. Um, so 197,000 miles. Very base model, you can tell by the wheels, and you can tell that it's way more faded, not near as appealing, and there might be rust right here too. So a lot of these people don't budge much, uh, but this one is in a driveway, so that's a good sign. 05 right here, needs transmission work, $5,000. So, you know, showing this, even if this needs a transmission, it's got 109,000 miles, so that kind of makes up for it. But if it's got a bad transmission, that's gonna cost at least 1,200 bucks. Uh, so if you can get that black one for $2,200 and sell it for $3,200, make that thousand bucks and you know the audience that is there, then you can profit really, really well. So, you know, it's not going to be that hard to resell. And I think that's a huge benefit on a car like that. 
but I just wanted to share this with you guys. It's very, very cool. Here's another black one, 118,000 miles, $5,600. Um, cloth interior, not as loaded out. I, I might want to change the seats on that black one that I showed you guys, this one. It cost about $200 if you got a good hookup, and you know, that would help a lot. The back seats are fine on them. Here's a 2006 all wheel drive for 5,000 um, bucks, cloth interior. But you know, just goes to show you uh, how much these cars can actually be worth at 163K miles. So not too far off from the one we're looking at, but imagine getting it for half this price, less than half this price. And you know, you go to register it, um, you know, you're gonna have to pay about $140 to get that registration fee. You can get a registration refund and um, once you sell it, so you actually are just putting a deposit down basically, and then you can get it back in Arizona. I won't pay taxes on private party sales, and I can sell it for a profit. Uh, 053250. Uh, this one has 250,000 miles. Um, it's definitely more base model. You can tell. Um, definitely looks a little bit more worn out and uh, older. See the seats? See how common that is? See how the seats are, are peeled? Some people won't even care because they want this car and they've looked and they've noticed that all the leather ones with more miles tend to have issues. So this person put the private party value um, and they do sell for, you know, if you held these long enough, they would sell for $4,000 at the right time of year. But I just wanted to make this video for you guys and uh, I'm gonna go back to my, my camera and uh, really just talk about it a little bit more before I close this out. All right guys, so that is really just it. I just wanted to break this Honda Pilot down. Um, these things are very, very good cars and getting it for $2,200 being black, um, you know, not being too expensive. So, you know, all your audience will have the chance to buy this because there are a lot more people that have $3,500 in their bank account as opposed to $11,000, $12,000 car. So, you know, the audience will be there for this. These are known to be reliable. They have the reputation. And, um, you know, there are other ones for around 3,200 that I showed you guys online that have 250 K miles or a bad transmission or something like that. But being black, I think this will really stand out and really help. So, you know, I talked to the seller, you guys saw my screenshot. I told you guys I can get it actually for $2,200. We're negotiating. Um, we're going to see if we can get this car being under 200,000 miles on these, these can go for 300,000 miles. So, um, this is a really good car. And um, yes, there are some cheaper ones, but these are in such high demand that this will sell regardless, even if there's a better price one, because maybe someone wants a black one on a car like this. But you have to know if the audience is there. And I do know this for sure, um, seeing these at the car auction and all that stuff with my dad in the past, in the previous years. So I just wanted to make this video for you guys. Thank you guys so much again for your time. If you guys want to learn what we do on a daily basis in the Flipping Wheels group chat, click the first link down below and learn a new market. Even if you don't want to buy and resell for profit, if you just want to find the best deal in your area and solely get something for a good deal, I promise you it's worth it. Just click the first link. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, click the second link down below and I'd love to keep you guys updated on how I find the best deals in my area. So thank you guys again and I will see you guys in the next video.